we wanted a dancing career and we spent quite a lot of years training and um, we sort of got uh, as far as the top of the amateur of dancing but um, then he had his first heart attack so we couldn't take it any further so we couldn't have a career in dancing after all that, that was really my life we had to stop right there and then that was it I cried for about three nights <laughs> I couldn't help it when I was 26 we got married and forgot about the professional dancing and um, got married had a couple of children and a very happy life I've had I was at home for 15 years then, um, just being an ordinary housewife. We used to have a cooked meal every single day, a proper cooked meal, like steak and kidney puddings that were put on at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> to simmer and simmer until 12 o'clock. And it was beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, we could have a, a conversation. Um, we could have a conversation best part of the evening, you know, don't not rely on television, watching television and things like that. We could talk about things a couple of hours, sort of thing, different sort of things. But there again, I suppose, when when you're made for each other, you can, even even though you've been married for years. Well, he was 64, nearly 64 when he died. He was only in hospital from the Sunday morning when he had the heart attack, the, the big one. And the nurse rang me at, or the sister rang me at uh, 12 o'clock at night. And she said, oh, your husband is critical. Will you, will you come? I shot down there. I shot down there in my night dress and my dressing gown in the car. I just shot down there, straight over the lights, straight over traffic lights I went. But it was too late, so I, I never saw him conscious again, and that was it. But well, life was finished for me, absolutely finished. You, you just don't know where you are for the first year or so. He hadn't retired, as I say. You were always together Sunday and Saturday. That was the worst day. It was the quiet, and the peace. Having a, a house full, normally, you know, children and husband, and then just your husband, and then no husband, just on your own. It's the worst possible thing that can happen to you. So what I did, I couldn't stay in the house at all on a Sunday. I used to go out on <laughs> these coach trips, and apparently it's, um, it's a well-known thing that England revolves round widows and coaches. <laughs> <laughs> taking them out every Sunday and Saturday, <laughs> widows to this place and that place, all various uh, seaside places, you know. I had a I had a dream one evening, one night I was having a dream. I was having a Viennese waltz in the clouds, absolutely in the clouds. And you know, I woke up and I was I was absolutely on a high, absolutely on a high. I really dreamt that we were we were having this wonderful Viennese waltz in the clouds and I was out, out of breath through it. And I just thought, oh, that was funny. It's just a feeling, I think. It's just, just a feeling. It's just a feeling that he's not really dead. He's still here. It was just it was just that feeling that he wasn't really dead because I couldn't have felt more real. It, it felt so real. I, I was I was shocked when I woke up in bed. Absolutely shocked because I don't dream about him very often. I've had about four dreams since he died. But that was that was the best one. It was so real. It was so real. And uh, when I woke up it was tragic. <laughs> When I move these and morrows world black and white in the not so good old days, you could always be sure it was time for flight when you heard 
this well-worn phrase. Feet, do you stop? When the game is way too tough, you don't have to play, just look down and say, Feet, do you stop? Caught in the buff by a brood who cuts up rough. You do best to fly, grab your pants and cry. Feet, do your stuff. You find it comes in handy when you're in an every spot. It's better to play, run away, than stay and risk getting shot. Don't try to bluff, that just isn't time enough. You've got more to lose, just forget your shoes. Feet, do your stuff. One Sunday afternoon, I was advised to go to the Café de Paris. I went upstairs and sat on a balcony and looked down at all the dancers, but I just couldn't envisage dancing down there myself with somebody new. Uh, I saw several black men that were beautifully dressed and that could really dance. But I didn't take much notice of them until I saw Bill. And I thought, oh, you know, he can do a nice rumba sort of thing. Most people say he, he can charm the birds off a tree. He can when he wants, when he wants to. And he did. And we've been together now for 16 years this year. We do love each other, but it's not the same. It's not the same as the first. I don't think anyone could ever be the same as the first one. Even do the Paso W, so don't talk. I'm not we doing won, this interview if you tell lies. We won all five of the dance. We had his, five oh, dances okay. to do, and the Spanish was dancing, and we win the competition. So, what what makes us and the Paso W is one of the dances, and we won all five of them. That's all wrong. That's lies, and I'm not listening. I'm not doing an interview if you're telling lies. Let me tell what, them what happened. Everybody was dancing on the stage. They loved our dancing so much, uh, jiving. They said, would we come up and jive? What are you talking um, about? Oh, God, talking about something. We went to this dance. And the people came to us and say, we want someone from Britain to dance in the competition. And we had to do five dances. And we won all five of the dances, including the Paso Dobe, where the Spanish was in. So we must have beat them to win. Because she don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> so I won't say anything then. <laughs> yeah. She can't argue she cannot argue with me about Nobody dancing. can argue with you, Bill, about well, anything. Well you can't, but I, I was dancing when I was six years old. And I've been dancing since I was 12. I, and I can't... I, I was trained at 17. And nobody in, nobody in this world can tell me about Anything. dancing. Anything. Nobody. Nothing. I concentrate on, like, a, like a, a, a surgeon. He do one job, but he can do other jobs. I'm a, prof a professional jiver, but I can still do Latin, but Latin is what came from my country. So sometimes she tells me about Latin, and the Latin came from my country before it came to England, because it's Latin American. She can't do it in my way, because she's not, um, she's not as the, um, um, well, West Indian really, yes. She do it in English way, but I do it in the West Indian way. I did Latin. Uh, I was with my husband when we first we, we danced the four dances, boring dances, for quite a few years before we started having lessons in Latin. I can do a proper ballroom samba, and that is not going backwards; it's going forwards, one way round, not not mm. the Barbadian way backwards sort of thing. Mm. That's why I don't like the samba. I'd like to do it with a ball. See, well, ball the, and dance. The, the thing the samba is, Western dance, Brazilian. See, 
but she can't do that because she's not Brazilian. But I can do it because that's where I come from. But it's not, it's, but it's not really, it's not really an argument really. Um, well, Bill never listens to anything. He talks, but he never listens. Never listens to anybody. And anybody would tell you that. If you're, if you're speaking, whoever it is, he'll interrupt you straight away before you've even said a, half a line. That's the thing that annoys me most. He never listens. My husband was a listener, as well as a talker. That's the sort of thing that annoys me about him. But I keep telling him, I keep saying, don't interrupt people, let, let the person speak, don't interrupt. But he just can't help it. You, you, you'll say, so, 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 and he'll, he'll cut you off. My husband was always like, being an officer, you know, he's always been on time for everything. And um, Bill's never on time for anything. And even when, he, when he's not even on time, He's still not on time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you think he's ready, you think he's coming out the door and he'll still be another 10 minutes, that kind of thing. That, that's very annoying and very aggravating. You get a lot of that, but that, that's their nature, apparently. He's the fastest one on the floor, and I like fast driving. <laughs> oh he can move. And he doesn't look as though He's putting much effort into it. But he's very, very fast, and I do like men that can move, that have got some life in them. And he's got plenty of life in his driving. Plenty of life. Brain, get to work. Can't you see what dangers lurk? You got more to lose, just forget your shoes. Feet, do your stuff. We'll hit the carpet running. There's no time to mess around. The message of fear has got to your ear, so now let's cover some ground. There just isn't time to remember love so blind. Though the kisses were sweet, better put with your feet. Feet, do your stuff. Well, I said feet, do your stuff. 